I'm a quiet start person. I don't like to be waking up by any alarm clocks or anything like that. I feel like it's a traumatic experience. So I like to wake up naturally from the sunlight and silence. The first person I contact or usually have contact with is my baby. Usually if he's awake, he'll already be in my bed next to me. I like to check my phone. I like to check the news. I like celebrity gossip. I make sure all my family members are good and safe and start to plan. I'm really motivated during this time that I have to create content. It's been challenging, but also some of the best content I've created. So I'm motivated to still work. This is the beginning of my cardio for the day. It's lots of laps around the bed. Making my bed every morning is definitely a must. Um, mainly during quarantine because my bed doubles as a desk during this time, so I need it for many things. It's a desk, it's a laundry table. You know, we can't get enough pillows. I know it seems excessive, but it's just, you know, makes it nice. Admit it, life would be boring without me. This is very true. Creamer, yes please. I like Italian sweet cream. I like to pour it in while the coffee is still going. I go a little crazy. This is a Buddha board. Some people are really, really good at it, but here's the thing, you don't have to be good. You just have to feel something while you're doing it. I like to do like lots of leaves. It's very, very, very calming and therapeutic. And this thing just works with just water. You can write out things. Some people have better penmanship than me. And then, you know, it dries up in like five minutes and you can, you can do stuff again. See, this is good, doesn't need syrup. I guess I'm just trying to stay creative by doing things that make me happy. I've been watching a lot of old movies, Romeo and Juliet, Selena, um, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Um, there's just like some really good like 90s and early 2000s movies that oh, they just make me happy and put me in a good mood. Love, always. Love first. Now I know some of you guys are wondering Wow, she just got right up and out of bed and didn't even brush her teeth or anything. Yeah, I have a theory on that. The first theory is I don't like my food to taste gross after brushing my teeth. And my second theory is I don't like to drink coffee on clean teeth. I feel like if I brush my teeth and then I drink my coffee, they're like naked and they're gonna stain even more. So I drink my coffee, I eat my food, and then I head to the bathroom and start my morning beauty routine. I'm old school, I still use A. I like this Arm & Hammer baking soda um, toothpaste after coffee because it's gritty, it's strong. However, I do switch my toothpaste up because I like to give my mouth a shock. So yeah. I brush my teeth first because I read something online that said when you brush your teeth and you spit it out, there's so much bacteria in the stuff that you spit out that then you should wash your face after. So keep that in mind. I'm spitting out brown. That's all that coffee that would have been on my teeth all day if I would have brushed my teeth first. Now you see why I did it? Because it's morning and I didn't do anything but sleep, my face is pretty clean, so I'm gonna use a super calm cleanser from Sunday Riley. Put the cleanser on my little face halo. It's nice and soft, but very effective. And this is what I meant about, you know, that bacteria that you had around your mouth from brushing your teeth. You wanna get that off your face. I'm always careful around my eyes because I have eyelash extensions and I don't wanna ruffle them too much during quarantine. I won't be able to get them done again for who knows how long. Reach over here, so I like to dry my face. It's very, very wet right now, and I don't want to dry it with a towel because 
I don't believe in that. I don't believe in being rougher with your face than you need to be. For my eye cream today, I'm going to use Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Eye Cream. This dramatically reduces the appearance of dark circles and puffiness. We will be the judge of that. A little bit on the ring fingers. This is vitamin C, so yeah, it's an eye cream, but be a little careful because it's kind of orangey, like citrusy, and it can get to burning. I have multiple eye creams that I use for different times of day because I'm staying in. This one's a little heavier, a little greasier. I don't really have dark circles, but sometimes my skin gets dry. So I like to keep it super moist. Next, a Sunday Riley Vitamin C Hydration Cream. This one is heavy and rich, but it's okay because we're not going anywhere. These are the times when you wanna take care of your skin, especially if you're like me and have dry skin. Again, I'm just patting it into my skin because I don't wanna rub it into my skin. I don't need to be that aggressive with my face. Neck, neck, neck. Final step. I have been loving lately this Chanel facial oil. It smells like jasmine, just a couple of drops. Some people put their facial oil on first, but I believe that oil is a sealant. So whatever you're trying to seal in should go first. And again, the same, just pat, just pat it into the face. I love to get it on my eyebrows. I love my eyebrows to be greasy because they get dry. And when they get dry, then I have to exfoliate them. And when I have to exfoliate them, I have to lose hairs. Hairs come out and then I cry. So you have to keep your eyebrows moist. Anything extra, I like to put on the back of my hands. And then I finalize it with, <laughs> I bet you I'm not even gonna be able to get it open. Oh, I think I got it. Come on. My hands are so greasy now, I can't get my freaking lip balm open. Mm, come on, baby. There we go. All right, and I like to use Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. The extra, I just rub it into my hands, put it where it's dry. And that's how I get ready for the day. My skin's clean and clear and moisturized. That makes me very happy. This is the time where I would usually figure out something to wear or get dressed or something, but I've got nowhere to go. So I'm just gonna stay in this, if you guys don't mind. Well, I am going to handle some emails and it's quarantine, so go home, be safe, stay in. See you guys next time.